Howdy y'all, Cowboy Ted here. You know, after a long hot day working on the ranch, ain't nothing I love more than getting in my pickup truck, driving to town, and hitting the club. But got me a mite of a problem. See, when I get into my pickup truck at the end of a hot day on the ranch, why it is mighty toasty inside. Now these folks here at ArtScienceFun.com gonna tell y'all how radiative heat transfer makes the inside of your car really hot on a hot summer day. Thanks, Cowboy Todd. Boy, what a great guy. Boy, he sure does love to go clubbing. But um, anyway, right, temperatures. So I'm outside here in the desert. It's kind of a hot day. Thermometer here is reading about 36 degrees Celsius. That's warm. But it gets way, way hotter in the car. But this thermometer that I've left in the car here is, ow, 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 reading about 55 degrees Celsius. That's really, really a lot hotter than it is outside. So what's going on here? Well, we've got solar radiation coming in from the sky, right? It's a really bright, sunny day, and it's just a really intense sun. So what's happening is that light from the sun is coming through the windshield, and it's coming through the windows. And when that radiation hits the dark parts of my car's interior, like the seats, or the dashboard, or the steering wheel, well, what happens is those parts of the car's interior absorb that sunlight and they get hot. And they keep warming up the air around them. And it keeps getting hotter, but there's nowhere for that hot air to go. So the heat just keeps building up and building up. There's radiation coming in, causing heat, but there's no way for that heat to get out. That's why opening a window is so effective. If you could just get a little air flowing, all that air that's getting heated up by the hot parts inside your car will flow right out. And that is why it gets so darn hot in the summertime on a sunny day in your car.